This is part 24 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating the layout template. This is continuation to part 23, so please watch part 23 before proceeding. We want our layout template to be like this. We want a location for the website header, website footer, the left navigation menu, and the main content area. To get this layout, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy this and navigate to the demo application that we have been working with in the previous video session. Notice within the head section, we have references to the main Angular script file and the Angular route script file. Within the body section, I'm going to paste the HTML that we have copied. This will actually give us the layout that we want. Now let's save the changes and when we view this page in the browser, look at what we get. We don't get the layout that we see in this slide and that's basically because we don't have any styles applied to this HTML. So let's add a style sheet to our project. Let's call this styles.css. Again, in the interest of time, I have already typed the required styles, so I'm going to copy them from the notepad and paste them within our style sheet. Now, we need to reference this style sheet within our index.html page. So I'm going to drag and drop this style sheet right here into the head section. So let's save everything and let's reload this page. Look at this, we get what we want. Now, I'm not going to go into the details of this HTML or these styles because we have already discussed them in part 147 of ASP.NET tutorial. So now, within the left navigation menu, we want our links. So let's go ahead and get those links in the left navigation menu. So this is where we want our links. So let's include an anchor tag. So anchor href equals hash forward slash. And let's say we want to go to forward slash home. You know, that's the URL that we want to navigate to. And what we want to display to the user is home. So let's make two more copies of this. And here, the href is going to be courses and the anchor text is going to be courses and here the href is going to be students and the anchor text is going to be students. Notice within the links to our partial templates that is home.html, courses.html and students.html we're using this hash symbol. This is basically to tell the browser that we don't want to navigate away from this index.html. Instead, we want these partial templates to be injected into a location in this index.html. We'll discuss how to get rid of these hash symbols in a later video. So let's save these changes and let's reload this page and see what we get. Notice we get our links and when I hover the mouse you can see the complete URL right here in the status bar. So for example if I am on the home link look at what we get localhost colon we have a port number there and then forward slash index.html and then we have our hash symbol forward slash home. So we'll discuss how to get rid of that hash symbol in a later video. So we have our links there. Now Next thing is, within our content area, this is where we want our partial templates to be injected depending on the URL that the user is trying to navigate to. And to tell that, we are going to use a different directive. So here is where we want the partial templates to be injected. And we are going to use a different directive here, and that's going to be ng-view directive. So this is where the partial templates will be injected depending on the URL the user is navigating to. So let's save these changes as well and let's reload this page. So in our next video, we'll discuss creating the partial templates. Thank you for listening and have a great day.